causing the leak, all these seams. And that's what we're going to fix now. They think they can fix a roof by spraying aluminum asphalt paint over anything. Like a coating, like a silver coating over rubber roofs. They think that's a sealant. It's not a sealant. It doesn't cure any leaks. The leaks are not fixed. Now I have this compounded problem. Let me explain to you what it is. Look at this. We cannot do our transition and, and fix because we got this tar and aluminum um, all over the joints. And these joints are the problem. So nobody fixed it because they just put tar. They think, anybody think, just putting tar will fix the problem. So now <clears throat> we're going to try that with a torch and see if that works faster. Because with a, with a flat bar, it's too hard. Either way, we got to get it off before we can do, before we can do our counseling. So let me show you another place where the, the, the rust is formed. This rust here on the roof. See the rust there? Look at the rust. So it, it, made, it makes such a big problem. I'm going to show you what the problem is. Watch this. See how this rust, this roof will be gone in a few years because water gets in and it sits underneath you and it rusts this roof away then. Then they're going to have to replace the roof. This is a big problem when you leave things undone like this. The, the, the tar didn't work. The aluminum paint didn't work. Now you got rust, water sitting underneath there and it, it rusts this roof away. This is the big problem. And that's what we're gonna fix, uh, on, make a permanent fix by putting the polyurethane. Let's see if we, we're gonna scrape it off. Okay, heat it up. Okay, let's see. That comes off nice. Much easier than a flat bar, right? Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. So, much faster than a flat bar. All right, there you go. Take it off. Mucho, very nice, huh? Yeah. So that's how we're gonna do it. Good. Scrape it off. Maybe it takes less than a minute now. Okay, we're getting the hang of it. And that's it. Good, yeah, the rust. See all the rust there? That will that will mess this whole roof up. Just there and the water gets trapped there. That's what it is. So I didn't know this before, but I found this problem. Now I have a solution. So the solution is to put that polyurethane. Look at the water underneath it. <laughs> I got the uh, mosaic there taking all the effect. So you see all the rust here. And so I remove that, but then the next step is to clean this area. <laughs> next step is um, we secure the. Um, So that's the next step. <clears throat> okay, the next step, after we got the roof nice and clean and, and, and the seams prepared, the next step is to, is to, to apply this uh, fleece. So you want to make sure you get it in the corner, right there, like that, see? And then you go to the other corner up there. So. See, and that's it. Once you got it there, very, very simple to do the repair. And what's nice about this, this polyurethane stays pliable. It's like stretchable after it cured. It doesn't um, 
go hard or get dry like a, a, a uh, tar. Tar gets hard and dries and cracks. That, this does not. There's few things that makes this much better product. It sticks to metal. It does not, you cannot get it off. It sticks to tar or asphalt. And then it stays pliable, which is a very nice thing because the roof, the metal, the two joints, they, they do move. And as they move, you know, they will contract and expand, and that's what causes the cracks. Next, yeah. And this mm -hmm. test is to test the flexibility of the product on a metal roof or any seam. And see, we want to see how flexible this material, uh, these four products are Turbo Pie Seal, Super Silicon Seal, Flex Seal Liquid. This is Gorilla Tape and Flex Tape, but it's the same thing and flex seal the spray on. So the first one I'm gonna do is turbo poly seal. Turbo poly comes with a fleece and you paint it on. Oh, this is getting goopy. Apply it like this. This is the turbo poly seal. We'll leave it for 24 hours. So I'm doing this test and then tomorrow we'll see. There you go. Turbo Poly Seal. I mean, that is real thick. So I got my four products placed there and uh, I'm gonna leave it 24 hours and we'll see which one passed the test. All right, I'm back here 48 hours later and I'm here to show the flexibility test of these five products. Turbo Poly Seal, Super Silicon Seal, Flex Seal Liquid, Flex Seal Liquid, Flex Tape, this is the tape. The Flex Tape and the Gorilla Tape is the same thing. Uh, you can see Gorilla, it's about the same thing. They use the same. And then Flex Seal Spray, we use the white one. So how I'm gonna use the, do the flexible tape, I'm gonna flex this metal. I'm gonna flex it down and see which one of these will crack open. So let me remove this tape. By the way, give me a thumbs up if you like this test, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna bend this plate, and this plate is gonna, it's gonna open up at the seams. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna both bend it down. Down, 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 down. Okay, the Flex uh, spray started cracking open there. See, that starts opening up there. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is unbelievable. Okay. This flex tape, the flex, this one, completely got, um, okay. So, I'm gonna bend this further down. Whoa. Okay, there you go. The, the the next one, the flex seal separated. <clears throat> wow, this is amazing. See, the flex uh, spray and the flex seal liquid, they couldn't handle this flex tape. The, ah, uh, okay. I cannot bend this any further, this is just too much. Wow. All right, that is it. Okay, so look. Look how much I bent this down. So uh, flex tape and flex liquid, they failed. This is a flex, uh, I mean flex tape. The flex liquid and flex spray failed. This held up here, but in the sun, this plastic doesn't hold up. The plastic will come off. You can see this glue. It's like gooey stuff. It uh, doesn't last. Here's what's amazing. The reason is we use a fleece. This is a polyester fleece. You cannot tear this apart, even if I try. I can put a lot of strength to that. It's <sighs> nothing going to tear apart. So that's what's inside the turbo poly fleece and inside the silicon seal, uh, super silicon seal. 
This Flick Seal Liquid doesn't come with any uh, fleece. They just sell it. Um, they just sell it like that. And this is the plastic that's holding on with a with a glue. This doesn't have any fleece, and these two come with a fleece in a kit, and that's why it can take any stress. It's not going to break. It's going to hold things together, and that's why if you do a metal roof. The flexibility is always there. It's okay. It will last. Very nice. So for the test, thumbs up. That's it. This is how you repair. And you do it with everything, every joint, every... What we did was we removed the hexagon screws and replaced it with the pan head. You see the pan head there? So that is very, very, very helpful if you can replace them all with a pan head and I'm going to show you what the difference is look <clears throat> see a slight bump there there's a slight bump there but it's nothing compared to if you had this hexagon the pan head is smooth and it makes a better transit uh, you can put your fleece over that so another tip repeat repeat okay okay I'm I'm the flat roof doctor. I'm a flat, flat roof, roof doctor. Roof. Right? Yeah. I know um, I know a thing or two. I know a thing or two. I've seen them two. Because I've seen a thing or two. Because because I have seen a thing or two. I'll see me too. Blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go and eat. The last part of the fixing this roof, we started a few days ago, and we are coating this uh, transition we did with silver coating, okay? So with the aluminum asphalt, uh, so we got it all cleaned up, we came here, and, and that's what we're doing. We, we're using a aluminum asphalt, um, 116 on non-fiber. We don't like the fiber stuff. Okay. Hey, please subscribe to my uh, channel. You, that helps a lot. And uh, a thumbs up. And I will appreciate that. My name is Nas. I'm the flat roof doctor. I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two.